what's up gemini gang thank you guys for tuning in let's see what's going on with you guys quick read for the single since i didn't do it yesterday um like i said in the other video flight was delayed i didn't get back till super late well super early in the morning um so i just kind of rested recouped yesterday so we're back um let's see what's going on this is going to be for the singles like i said um all Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest, take it how it resonates with you and your situation, personal readings in the description box, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit that subscribe, y'all know what it is, alright, so, again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in, always thank you guys for being here, okay, um, let's see what's going on, also, I will be posting different types of content, different spiritual talks, numerology, like I said in another video, I have a lot to share and it's time that I share it, okay? And y'all are always asking me to, okay? So let's see what's going on with y'all today for the singles, Gemini singles. And I mean Gemini that are single, single, okay? But you never know, it might be some gems in here. Um, if you're not all the way single, love it, love that. New phase, well, we have the phoenix, this is new phase, rekindle, renew it in growth, change mind and rise from the ashes, love that. Then we have separation, we have sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, an uncertain future, that's kind of the same energy I got from the other read. Then we have the butterfly. Um, this one is evolving and growth, new phase, healing inner child, inner child and releasing the past. That's also very similar to the, the other reading. And then we have addiction is codependent, obsession and restraint, possession and control, emotional block. All right. So let's see what's going on with the same gals today. Uh, dear Gemini's. All right. Let's see. Yeah. So, so far, some of you guys are separated from someone. This was the same exact first card that came out in the last reading. Some of you dealing with a Taurus or Gemini. This could be you. Like, you could be in this King of Pentacles energy, but I'm not so sure because we have the Two of Swords. So, some of you might have options or you're, like, kind of torn between um, two people or you feel like... Um, you want to build your stability you might not be able to do both like you can't do love you can't have love in a successful career you definitely can gemini you can you can have both okay um so let's see some of you are going to be meeting somebody new wow eight of wands someone you're separated from is returning <laughs> there's no other way to do it Shit. wow wow no way gemini's no way so the six of cups is about your past this is about releasing the past but y'all guess what's on the bottom releasing the past holy shit so this could be two things okay this could be you moving away from someone but with the separation card it says sadness and bitterness missing you thinking about you an uncertain future so some of you guys, if you've been in this sadness energy, I feel like you're going to be moving away from that. You're moving away from things that aren't serving you, aren't working for you. Things that you may have. Uh, the, the Six of Cups is also about healing your inner child as well. Some of you are ready for more. You're ready to grow. You're ready to move on. Um, but this could also represent a person. Like I said, it could be a Taurus or an Earth sign. Um, or someone that just represents this King of Pence. Um... That is one to kind of leave the past to pass. Like, you know, let's let's start over. Let's let's move forward. I don't want to do the thing. I don't want to do the things I'm doing no more, Gemini's. <laughs> I don't want to do it no more, Gemini. Take me back. <laughs> wow. Heavy Taurus. Taurus and Taurus. Okay. Um, the two of Pentacles. Again. Yeah, look here. Mm -hmm. Gemini. I feel like someone might be uh like trying to build their finances to like be able to offer you more or like you know be able to 
um, come into this connection, uh, being able to, to give Gemini's, um, also the Phoenix is about new phase and rekindle, renew and growth, change mind and rising from the ashes. So I feel like you, you're going to be dealing with someone that, you know, uh, someone's going to be offering commitment that you would have never even thought in a million years that they were going to do. I feel like it took you walking away from somebody, uh, for them, especially with the separation here. It took you walking away from someone for someone to come to their senses. Uh, Gemini's. Damn. Mm hmm. Page of Wands. You're going to hear from somebody. Shit. The judgment here. Oh, mm hmm. Unfinished business. I got the same energy from the last read. Somebody feels like y'all have unfinished business. Yeah. You're going to be hearing from somebody very quickly. Very, very, very soon. I give it in the next week or so. You're going to hear from somebody. And I feel like this, it could be someone younger than you. Could be someone that was non-committal at one point, but they won't be non-committal anymore, Gemini's. Now, they may say, I'm working on XYZ. I'm trying to get this together. But everything I do for is for us. That's what I'm getting. Now, if this is a new person, which I just don't feel that it is, <sighs> Gemini's. But if, it's, if this is a new person, you may be dealing with them. Uh, or you may meet them at a time where they're still kind of like building themselves and they want to be like their best selves when they get into a connection, uh, Gemini. So take that how it resonates, okay? But this is definitely a text, a call, uh, a DM, uh, something along the lines of that, an email. <laughs> Y'all, no way. Okay, so I'm gonna, that's, that's not on the top. So we have the world that was on the top. Y'all, no way. Because he, he just had to come out. He wanted to come out. Um, I'm also seeing the Queen of Pentacles. The King of Swords as well. Aquarius, Leo, Energy, Capricorn. Um, I'll put the King of Wands here on the top. Because he just had to pop out of there. Okay, so some of you dealing with a fire sign. Um, yeah, you do have somebody that is wanting to come back around. So I want heavy reconciliation vibes here. And I didn't want that, okay? Um, you know, with us, us single singles. Uh, but I did dive deep into that, uh, to a lesson for myself. But mine isn't a love situation. But y'all will watch the other video. It's long, but I did touch into a lesson that I'm going through right now regarding the past, okay? So I feel like this is what's going on here, Gemini's, okay? Something that's coming back up that needs to come back up. Okay, so I don't know how you feel about that, but <laughs> yeah, so spitting the deck, I see the devil. Yeah, see, spirit has a very, very, very good sense of humor. <laughs> now, why on earth did you do that, spirit? Really? Really? Yeah. Spirit has jokes today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that devil, that's that person you think is toxic as hell. Um yeah uh, i can't think of anybody from my past i want to talk to but again it's a lot of people that i have no interest in communicating with that uh are coming back around or popping back up for me but i'm starting to realize why because there's some stuff that i still need to uh unpack and um heal from uh you know healing the inner child so take that how it resonates with you Okay, I'm seeing the world here on the bottom again. I'm covering her up because, you know, she's a little nude and all of that. So, gosh. But, you know, I, I do get the... See, I'm seeing the Two of Pentacles again. Uh, the King of Wands again. And the Wheel of Fucking Fortune. What the entire hell with the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom? Yep. You have a commitment coming in, something solid. I do feel like though someone is wanting to, this is giving infinity vibes here. It's like some, something that fizzled out is about to come back with a vengeance. Yeah, nice. Now look, it could be a Sag, a Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, a fit, one of the fixed signs. You look, look how determined he looks. Look, look at his face here. Or her face. Is that a man or a woman? 
I think it's a woman because it looked like it looked like she had a little yeah this is a woman so look look at her face here because it looks like she got a little boobage there look at her face here look how determined she's she looks and she has a sword in her hand like I said somebody's coming back with a vengeance it's just like I want to fix the I want to fix the problem I want to fix what happened I feel like um Two things could have happened here, Gemini's. This person left and you let them. You didn't come back for them like they thought. Or um, you left and they, they just kind of, they waited on you to return and you didn't. That, that's what I'm getting here. Someone just, like I said, wants to just let bygones be bygones. Now, seeing this addiction here, again, gives me a vibe of someone might be a little bit codependent on you, which I've gotten for you. Okay, now just because someone comes back, I feel like sometimes people think that everything is going to be peaches and cream right away. It takes time to heal. It takes time to grow and it takes time to evolve. Um, you have to be patient when, when you're in a relationship and it doesn't matter who it's with. You have to be patient with the relationship with yourself as well. So if, if you're dealing with someone that is going through a healing phase right and say say they're 35 years old and the, for 35 years they've been battling this 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 inner trauma you can't possibly think that within two months three months hell even six months a year that they're going to be 100 percent healed from some shit that that they've been holding on to for decades so i feel like it's there's a need to be a little bit more realistic when we're coming into these relationships because a lot of times we can be caught up in the fantasy of a relationship or wanting relationships to be perfect and, and this may not even just be you Gemini's but the person that you're dealing with okay even with yourself you can't expect to be healed from things that you endured in your childhood in your adulthood okay if you're if you're 40 years old and at 40 years old you decide I want to go to therapy for you know healing my inner child and it, it could probably take you years to heal from that okay so you have to consider these things when when you're dealing with yourself and when you're dealing with others uh, and, and when you're reconciling especially when you're listening to tarot and and the readings are like oh well they come back changed but sometimes the change could be that they are more self-aware they're aware of the things they need to change they're aware of the things they need to heal it doesn't mean that they'll be totally healed so try to take a more realistic approach to um, your relationships uh, Gemini so if you are looking for someone new try not to be in a space of just cutting them off <laughs> I'm saying this shit for myself <laughs> Um, because I, I definitely learned how to be patient with people for real. Um, but I'm only patient with you when you haven't fucked me over. Okay. Once you fuck me over, that's when, when I have to work on myself. Cause, and again, I touched on this in the other reading. I won't touch on that in this reading cause it, the last one got really long, but I know a lot of you guys can't relate to what I say and what I go through and that's why I say it and that's why I speak on it okay um because I know it's, it's not really a lot of a lot of readers that do that 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 put their their flaws out there or um you know try to teach you guys uh as far as lessons and things like that and you being better making yourself better healing and all of that so you know um Try to be patient with yourself, not just with yourself, but with other people when when you're if because this could be you healing the inner child. But I do see a change here and it could be with you, but it won't be overnight. OK, so I try not to expect too much from people, uh, Gemini's, because it's hard out here for, for everybody, I feel like, especially when you are um, trying to be in these connections and you're trying to be in in love. Now, if, if the shit is overly toxic, okay, if somebody's, like, putting their hands on you and all this other shit, like, mm -mm, not that I will, I will never advocate for that. But, you know, sometimes people do have traumas, they get triggered from things and all of that. So, try not to expect a whole lot from people that have a whole lot of fucking, are you kidding me? Look at that. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's all I'm going to take. But look on the bottom. We have, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Y'all let me know if I'm saying this right. And M. Cara. Let's see that. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one is unconditional love, romance, soulmates, uncommon bond, devoted, always tenderness, timeless, constant affection, best friends, appreciation, unchanging, and infinite love. That is that infinity symbol and infinite love. I saw that a lot in the other reading. Um, yeah. Some of you, your lesson right now is to learn how to like let go of the past. Um, that is that lesson is heavy for me right now and I'm struggling with it <laughs> I'm just gonna be totally honest with you <laughs> okay so we have will of karma mm -hmm. we have karma dharma destined inevitable cause and effect divine intervention cycles luck the two of pentacles too can also be about cycles because if you look at the end uh, if you look behind her there's these ships going up and down so that's about, I've said in another read too, that sometimes the two of, of pentacles can be about the ups and downs of life. Um, the ups and downs of connections. Because connections always go, aren't going to always be up, but they won't always be down either. Okay. Um, cycles, fortune, rise and fall, circumstance, consequence, divine will, and blind justice. Um, we also have this will of fortune here, which means the same. Okay. Then we have optical illusion. All right, which is Aquarius. This one called Will of Karma is Gemini. This one's Aquarius. It's not what it seems. Mirage, trap, unclear, visual effect, confusion, head trip, trick, hallucination, hocus pocus, sleight of hand, projection, and predictive programming. I feel like with this, uh, uh, it's kind of saying that try not to focus a lot on the negative. And a lot of times when people are triggered, they're not being themselves. You know what I mean? When someone's operating from trauma, they're not being themselves. So I feel like that's when it's, it's not what it seems. When you when you look at someone a certain way, they, they're not operating in their normal way. They're operating in a way that uh, they've had to to survive. Survival mode. Um, Gemini is okay. So this one is Aquarius again. So a lot of shit might be happening for you guys in Aquarius season. I'm seeing corset, held together, boundaries, restriction, prim and proper, following rules, structured, buttoned up, perfect posture, holding it together, support, shape shift, and people pleaser. Yes. So again, the people pleasing could be you, could be the person on your mind, but that is also coming from a place of trauma. Okay. So Gemini's, hit those likes, hit those subscribes. Again, I appreciate you for being here. Peace out.